It is a beautiful morning on the island. Summer has finally really kicked in. It is still, it is calm. It is going to be a hot one. And as always, we are racing against the clock here, just like every project. You plan and plan and plan, and you try and get everything to align perfectly. Does it ever? Mm, not exactly. So we have the painting on the interior is done. That's amazing. All of the existing interior rooms are ready to accept furniture. We have the vanity in, in the bathroom. We have another vanity that still needs to go in. And we've sort of reached an exciting phase. On the outside and in the porch, we've had a few setbacks. We're a bit behind. So the fireplace went in yesterday and that's awesome, but we still have to clad the entire porch. Then we have to do all the paneling inside. That all has to be painted. And guess what? All the furniture is showing up today. So we have stuff that we need to get out of the cottage still and all the new stuff coming in. And we are about 10 minutes away from going to meet the truck. There's a lot of stuff coming. So I'm one part, yes, and one part, oh boy, what's gonna happen next? Everybody's here working their hardest. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna see what happens today. I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. All right, so we've just arrived at the marina and about to load the boats with, um, Basically everything that's in here, and I gotta tell you, there's a lot of stuff. So how full is this moving van? Uh, top to bottom. Top oh yeah, no bottom. problem. Uh, moving van versus boats. Well, wait, this should be easy. I didn't say it was gonna be easy. <laughs> it's always an adventure with Sarah. This is a huge amount of stuff. Right now I'm really glad that it's gorgeous weather and it's dead calm because we're gonna have to leave most of this stuff outside as we figure out how to get more stuff out of the inside of the cottage. Because when I arrange and redesign, I order everything. Nice custom furniture? Yep. In case you're wondering and thinking, well, okay, so if you're not ready, why would you bring stuff to the island? Because everything I've organized was made in the city. I had four different workrooms working on furniture. I had marble cut. Hot summer day, slippery hands. How much does the marble weigh, boys? 400 pounds. <laughs> and Jeff's carrying it with one hand. Are you showing off, Jeff? And then we set a day for the delivery to happen. And Dylan and Lance, our delivery guys, had to drive around the city and do multiple pickups. Once that's complete, I can't just say, oh, you know what, we're gonna take another week. Can't do that. We're approaching the time of summer shutdown for a lot of these companies, so we ordered it, we asked for a delivery date, that delivery date came, we had to pick it up, and we had to get it out of there. So now, we have to bring it here. Ready or not, here it comes. These boats are getting very, very full. Hey, gorgeous turtle. Some people will spend today swimming. Not us. Here's what's happening here. We got two boats. I'd say they're pretty heavily loaded. Right. Always wanted us to open the boat. Well, now you got one. Oh, now we're gonna put on a vanity top, marble top with the sink attached. And today is definitely the day for this t-shirt. Team Optimus, it's the only way to go. Definitely, I'm going to admit here, the cottage is not ready. However, oh gosh. Dylan nearly fell in the boat with the marble. <laughs> Too close to the water. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Alex is carrying some marble shelves. Poor guy has no idea. He has no idea what I've ordered. No idea what this place is going to look like. So hopefully he's going to like it when we're done. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, 
load one successfully made it to the cottage. Now we unload and do it all over again. Where's the snake? You want to help unload the boat? We could do it with some slithery help. Sure we do. All right. How heavy is she? Uh, it's more on than heavy. And are we going to turn it upright, maybe? Yeah. Careful of the water line. Water line. Okay. I gotta just catch my breath for a second here anyway. Okay. Where is this? It's going to the living Yeah. Room. Are we clear to get in there? I don't know. Maybe we should just set it down here and go back and get the rest of the stuff. Okay. Just get it in the door at least. Okay. It's total chaos, but this is so exciting because Brianna and I are about to set up our very first room from scratch. We just built the bed, this mattress came in a box, and it feels like it's pretty comfortable. And we're finally gonna set this room up the way it was originally intended. I have to admit, when we built this cabin, my plan was always the bed would go under the window. I ordered a four poster bed, and I had some really great side tables, and they didn't fit. So it always looked out over your feet to the water instead. So now, we're gonna try and do this again the way I planned originally. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Come on, Marie. Right here. Looks great. Oh my gosh, the boat's rocking, the waves are coming in to the harbor, and I'm about to fall out of the boat. Great. Can you reach that end? Yeah. Got it? <laughs> the headboard, I think, is going to nestle right underneath this window. Oh, it's going to be so great. And you know what today is? Today is the most beautiful day of the summer so far. And while I would love to be swimming or out on the water, it is just so thrilling for me to be getting this done. It's the best. Okay. And now we hope it fits. With this. Oh, that fits. Look at how nice the height of the bedside table is to the height of the mattress. This is something I always like. Bedside table and mattress at about the same height. This is really working for me. Okay, see what's happening on the second floor. And this is our countertop. The powder room vanity. Awesome. And you'll see, in case anybody was worried, red cabinets still here. And then here we are. Okay, we're in Robin's room. Brianna, should we assemble these? Yes, we should. Okay. I love repurposing things. So these are actually Robin's bedside tables from home. And she got to the point where she said, Mommy, I really don't want to have a pink bedside table anymore. And I love these tables because they have this fabulous shape. They've got a rounded profile on the top, rounded sides, gorgeous conical tapered legs, and they have these little caps and really pretty delicate hardware. Originally this hardware was all brass and what's good to point out is if you get a piece of furniture and you don't like the hardware, you have options. Obviously you can buy new hardware. In this case, I really love the hardware, I just thought the finish on it was getting a little shabby. So you know what I did? I had it replated. I had it custom plated in nickel and now we removed all that hardware when we repainted the tables and I think they just look perfect here. Also, they fit perfectly. If you're dealing with a tight space, you need to know what your dimensions are first. Excuse the hammering, I am not stopping any work for audio. So then we did, this is really simple. In most of the bedrooms I've done, these are just upholstered headboards. It allows us to get an accent bit of fabric, some softness, but also a little bit of softness from the fabric because all the walls are wood and we don't do a lot of decoration in here. And so these are all just wall mounted on a French cleat, super easy. And then check out this, these are whimsical. These light fixtures were $19 each. They're gonna hang from the ceiling, has a little socket set, so we'll place them. But the first thing we need to do is 
basically arts and crafts. So you ready, Brianna? We're gonna crinkle. Crinkle it. Ooh, this is so fun. Okay, what I love about these lights is that they feel groovy. Let's see, oh my gosh. Okay, I love that. I love these, they feel breezy, they feel contemporary, they were $19. If my teenager decides she outgrows this concept, no big deal. Mm. I'll repurpose them somewhere else. How fun is that? Oh. What do you think? Whoops! And they don't break. Mm. They're so great. Next up on our room assembly tour is the living room. The storm room, are you ready? Woohoo! Marble tops, remnant marble tops, no less. So previously, when I bought these, they had glass tops. I just didn't think glass tops here are not the best solution. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. How fast. We're in the midst of moving and set up and we've had windy days, we've had cloudy days, rainy days, freezing cold days, we've had every kind of day, but today is the hottest day. It is 90 degrees and there isn't a breath of wind. Trying to keep cool, it's so hot. <laughs> So the question is, if the entire work crew is in the water, is any work getting done? Oh, just yank no. themselves up. Oh yeah, that's nice. 